driving an emergency service vehicle requires a high level of skill to be able to progress through traffic safely. The traffic conditions won't always be light so they can make swift progress easily. In fact on some occasions they'll even have to go on the wrong side of the road to get through the traffic queues. Don't worry about this. They're well trained to assess risk and act accordingly. All you need to do is give them space. Sometimes as long as it's safe, even holding back and stopping on the opposite side of the road for the emergency services allows them through into a little gap. This police officer was appreciative. Just being aware of your surroundings and knowing where the space is, is all it takes. This is exactly the same junction that was featured in a previous clip, but this time my camera, who thankfully sent all these clips in that we're looking at today, goes through this red light to get out of the way. Don't forget, you could be prosecuted for doing this. The emergency services don't expect cars to do this, but if you decide to try and help in this way, just make certain there's no risk to anyone. Remember, different situations require different responses. And I'm not talking about the emergency services. This for me is worst case scenario for any emergency vehicle approaching from behind. Queue in traffic, however there still should be room for the traffic to split and the emergency service vehicle to take a route through the middle of the traffic. And we can see the lorry at the back is already doing this, along with my camera. Nice spot. But this clip is going to be dominated by the Corsa driver that's behind and the private hire that's behind them. Surely they can see the ambulance. You could also hear it. I'm not playing any audio because we had our camera playing some music. But I can assure you it was pretty obvious. The camera car is doing a good job by continuing to move because it's allowing both the Corsa and the private hire to tuck in behind. But they don't. But the actions now from the private hire baffle me. Why continue into that space? There was plenty of room behind. And even now, our camera leaves enough space for both of them to fit in front in between us and the Mercedes. But again, they continue up the road. This must be so frustrating for the emergency services when you see people on the road with this lack of awareness. Eventually, it sorts itself out. But it shouldn't have taken that long. The actions of those two vehicles highlighted cost that ambulance approximately a minute getting through the traffic. Now if they've got a two or three mile journey and that happens five times, that's literally the difference between life and death. Wake up everyone, it's important. <laughs>